G'day everyone, Granitor here again, this time with another 2v2 with the boys in McLean. So we have um, playing a Sparta, my co-leader in Zeva Clan, Helvetian, and then playing as Pergamon, we have uh, Last Legion. And then on my side, we've got uh, Swimming Samurai playing Chimeria, and then uh, I'm playing Massilia. So this is a very entertaining 2v2. First of all, we'll just press play and go over the builds. For Helvetian, he's got some Perioki hoplites. And then he's uh, got a couple of them out the front. Some Spartan Youths, Citizen Cav, some Tarantines, two of them. Small Perioki Spears, Royal Spartans, Perioki uh, Peltast. It's interesting. Some Gorgo skirmishes. Uh, a few of them. Some Helot slingers. Some more Helot slingers. So pretty well mixed up there. But then he's got all the uh, beefy stuff like the Royal Spartans. And uh, I think he's got a couple of heroes of Sparta there as well. So very good uh, army by him. It's very intimidating. And for me, I've got some uh, Paeus lancers. Some Massilian Cav, a Pace Lancer General, and uh, for my gen skill, Raise the Banner and Rally for uh, Helvetians, it's uh, Battle Rhythm and uh, Second Wind. So for my main line, I've got the Massilian Hoplites, then some uh, Thorax Swords, well, six, max six of the same, so I've got six uh, Thorax and uh, six Sword uh, Melee as well. So now I've got some Levy Freeman out the front. Another Massillon Hoplite, and then uh, got the Celtic Slingers, three of them out the back there. And uh, press pause here for a tick. Go over the uh, Chimerian build. So we've got some Hoplites there. Got some Chimerian Noble Infantry, very tanky, good unit. Uh, Battle Rhythm, second win for the Gen Skill, some more Hoplites. Then uh, big line of Skirmish, Chimerian Heavy Archers, Steep Archers, Slingers, Slingers. Some more slingers, and then some uh, steep horse archers and noble horse archers. He's got some Scythian hoplites, and he's brought the uh, Greek onager, the heavy Greek onager, for a bit of a laugh out the back there. Citizen Cav, an upgrade, small Citizen, uh, Step Lance with an upgrade, Citizen Cav, and then a uh, Steep Spearman. And for Last Legion, he's got the Hippias Lancers, Pergamini's Noble Cav, and his gen skill is uh, Brother Rhythm, Second Wind. So it looks like I'm the odd man out with the uh, Raise Banner and Rally. But never mind. I like that skill. It suits me fine. Glacian Spears. Three off Spears. Glacian Swords out the front. He's got some more uh, Three off Spears. And then some uh, Slingers out the back. Some more Three off Spears and Glacian Spears there. So he's going to rely on this Cav by the looks of it. So we'll press play and we'll get underway. So you can see now he's pushing heavy with this Cav. And uh, he's going to get a few shots on him. Steep Noble Archers coming in for the, uh, the payers, but they'll absolutely get uh, smacked there, you'll see in a minute. But it's, uh, he's tying it up so he can get the Scythian Hoplites in there. Good good little move there, you know what I mean? They haven't lost too many Noble Archers, so that surprised me. But once his second charge comes in, I'll say that'll be uh, all she wrote for them. So on this side, the uh, engagement's happened. Pergamese Noble Cav against a Citizen, they'll crunch him, but then he gets a Steep Spearman in for support, which is a good move there. Steep Lancers, Hippias Lancers. But here comes uh, Legion with his backup, which is going to absolutely crack that over there. So Legion starts moving back this part of his line, so it looks like he's going to concentrate on his flank here and wrap that up first, and then uh, try and get the Cav advantage. And take full advantage of that. So it looks like swimming uh, samurai's taking the bait, running after him. And over here we're just jostling for position. Helvetians get some uh, some good shots from Musilian Cav, whittled them down. But this is uh, my main striking force on on this flank here is the Hippias Lancers, so I'm trying to get them into the action. 
I'm going to keep supporting over here as much as I can. Levy Freeman went in, done a good javelin toss onto the Gorgo skirmishes. Now I'm going to come in for a charge with my uh, Hippias Lancers. A brutal charge there. Absolutely cracked them uh, Beriki Hoplites and I'm going to come in with my Thorax Swords and pull out the Cav. The Cillian Hoplites over here taking it out nice, getting a nice recharge there. So we'll uh, go a bit of slow-mo here so we can go to the other side and have a look. So the main engagement has happened here. I've uh, baited him with the Levy Freeman meat shield first. And then I'm starting to shift over all my uh, swords. So you can see that uh, Legion has won decisively with his Apaeus Lancers on that flank. Now he's uh, going to threaten the skirmish. And all this is a little bit spread out here with the uh, Chimerian Nobles and the Hoplites. The uh, Glacian Swords will do good damage against the Hoplites. But yeah, you can see Swim Samurai has come out here with no support to protect his flanks because all these calves have been wrapped up by the Hippias Lancers, which are now going to run free. Run free, my little friends. So over here we've got uh, the Battle in Earnest. Keep going. Hippias Lancers are going to block off that there and try and hold. So I'm going to bring this one back around. My swords will uh, chill apart the Peroki Hoplites, but then he's starting to bring in the heroes of Sparta now. You can see there he's uh, done a great job at putting the um, Spartan Hoplites and the Peroki Hoplites in first. Then he brings them back out. So, But I do change attack orders and put my shield ball on, which is going to help me out there. So he did an alright charge in with Missilian Cav onto his general. Then put in the uh, Levy Freeman. Then I'm just getting these Massilians ready for a charge after that. So my general comes in, hits the gen skill, raise the banner and rally. Just so this uh, Hippias Lancer can hold that flank as long as it can while these Thorax are coming over to help it. So it looks like the engagements are, are pretty even here. I do have um, the advantage of having some swords, but these heroes of Sparta, as we all know, uh, beastly unit, so can't count them out. I'm just trying to preserve my general here, get some good shots off my slingers. Looks like I'm taking advantage of the uh, the firepower here and getting hold of his uh, skirmish quite well. The Gorgo skirmish is going down. Come in with Levy Freeman onto the Periochi Peltast. So it did help me out bringing that sword over. It wrapped up that flank for me, so I uh, was lucky to get that. So I'll whack it back in slow-mo and have a look what's going on over here. So as you can see now, the um, Greek Heavy Onager got a few kills, 60 kills, which is uh, pretty good for them. But then the Pace Lancers are taking their toll now. I'm going to come over and try and help a little bit. I uh, charged that Glacian Spears with my Massilian Cav. Didn't do too much and I see that um, it's starting to crumble a bit over there. So I'm going to try and concentrate on my side a little bit more here. Legion's done a great job with his cav there and uh, absolutely cracked him. So I knocked down the uh, Spartan use and then go through. So that's a good example of a, not a pull through. So they were all knocked down and come straight through. Didn't even leave me lag them in there for a while. They were hit and gone. So now I'm going to get into the Tarantines from Massilian Cav. You get these Paeus Lancers hitting that gap which uh, surprised me, Micro has been a bit slack lately, but that was a bit of tricky Micro through the gap. And hits the uh, Helot Slingers and gets rid of them. And straight into the Tarantines. So it's looking pretty good for me over here. Got these uh, Celtic Slingers. I just saved them in the nick of time by my general because he uh, done the same move and crept a cav through. So now I get the rear charge in on the Royal Spartans with my Thorax Sword. It's all pretty even here, but the Massilian Hoplites are getting crunched by the uh, Royal Spartans, which, you know, they've got pretty good stats here. We'll pause it and have a little bit of a look at the stats. Massilian Hoplites, 36 melee attack, 47 for the Royal Spartans, so that's probably why they're getting crunched. 30 weapon damage, 30 weapon damage. Uh, charge bonus of 26, charge bonus of 28. Melee defense, 72 and 87. Armor, 90. Um, 105 and then the health 65 base morale 65 and 70 and 76 so 
Yeah, the Massillian Hoplites are always going to get crunched in that situation against the Royal Spartans. I do have my Massillian Cav here, who um, just ended up beating out that Tarantine. Her pace Lancer's going well. Now I should be able to line up for some good rear charges once I get these Hippias in. But I'm a little bit eager. I do get the rear charge in, but it's a bit of a dicky charge. The fucking uh, Heroes of Sparta are just going to laugh at that charge. So I decided to come back out, reform them, and try and get a better charge in. My well, general now has done well. He's got 40 men still in the unit. He's coming around. He's going to get some rear charges in now too. So these uh, Peraki Hoplites need to go. So now I'm going to try and charge them in a little bit better, these Paiuses. Another weak ass, shitty kind of charge. I have to reform a little bit better. But the uh, Peraki Hoplites uh, do break because of that. Get me Massilian Cave out here. But a couple of my swords are starting to break now, so... Not going too good. Heroes of Sparta, 43 men left. Pretty spread out, chasing away the Slingers. So I decided to get a rear charge on the Spartan Hoplites there. My uh, poor old Thorax swords are up against it here. Get some good rear shots in on this uh, Royal Spartan. Which is just going to tickle their rear end. It's not going to do fucking much probably. <laughs> Freaking tanks. They might as well be, you know, have the unit skin of, of, of fucking tanks. So I come out here with my Thorax Swords, trying to stop these uh, Heroes of Sparta from coming over this side so I can wrap up here and have something left. Um, uh, Hippos Lancers here have done well. Got some uh, lovely kills. We'll have a look at their kills there. 123. Nice. So it looks like uh, Legion's all done over there. So he brings in the Hippos Lancers now with three upgrades and 320 kills. Starts bringing them into my rear line now. So... I'm up against it. I've got uh, <laughs> two armies against my depleted army. I bring my general in now for the good charge on the Paeus Lancers. So my general's uh, got 35. This Paeus Lancers got 26, 25. So that was a good charge. So I save my uh, slingers, which I'll desperately need now. So these uh, Royal Spartans are getting a little bit hurt there. These slingers, I changed target to something a little bit weaker. These uh, heroes of Sparta here. Trying to get them off the field. I'll bring out my Levy Freeman. They start wavering a bit. But these shots coming in on the Heroes of Sparta will hurt. So the Paeus Lancers are coming in now. I see a juicy, nice little rear charge coming on. So I'm going to uh, crack that in. Another derpy ass shit charge. What the freak's going on with my charges? God, if that was a good charge, I would have just crunched them here as a Sparta, but no. Do a poverty fucking shitty charge like that. My general here, 24 men left. He's going to beast out against some Paeus Lancers. But I've got these Spartan Hoplites uh, close on my heels. Let them get some shots off with the Slingers. That's going to hurt their ass. But they're a bit spread out, so it's not doing too much damage. My general now, he's caught, so I might as well say goodbye to him. Another rear charge coming in from the Hippias onto the Heroes of Sparta and that's going to break them. So that's a handy little charge there. Got these Thorax Swords with uh, 55 left. Going to do the attack order onto the Royal Spartans but um, it's all futile at this stage now. Got, they've got too much left and uh, the Spartan and Pergamon Alliance Breaks the uh, Massilian and Camaria. So, yep, very good game by the boys. That was an entertaining game. We all uh, haven't had some games together for a while, so it's good to get a game in. And you can see they're always entertaining games in the end. So, for me, my best, my general done okay. Um, my sword's done excellent, considering they're up against uh, the beastly Spartans. And, uh, yeah, a few good kills from your pace. Um your Levy Freeman done excellent, 87, 40, 41. But my skirmish, yeah, had some good uh, shots there, 107, 101. Doing some good work. The Massillian Hoplites let me down a bit. Yeah, not too bad, but yeah, pretty shitty. Massillian Cav, do some great work there, 117. So, And for uh, Helvetian, his general, 192, beast. And then uh, his Cav done okay. 
He got I got his skirmish pretty good there, so 61 for the Peraki Peltas, which is excellent. And uh, yeah, you can see the uh, Heroes of Sparta and all that getting some excellent kills there. In for Swimming Samurai, his General done well, 221. Yeah, all his hoplites done okay in the end. The uh, Scythian hoplites, 131 there. Archer's done okay, Scam done all right. Um, Horse Archer's got a bit beaten up there at the start, and his cab got a bit uh, a bit whooped there, and the heavy on just 61. So for Last Legion, um, I reckon he pulls out the player of the uh, game. So Pergamini's Noble Cab, 91, but look at this, 345, 321, 75, and 9. That's uh, some beastly work done by them, the Pace Lancers. A good all-round unit, I, I, um, one of my favourite cab, I think. Then we've got the skirmish, we're doing a great job. And then the Glacian Spears, 172, they're a uh, underrated unit in my eyes. They're a very good support unit for Cav. They can also hold off for a little while against the swords. 98 for the uh, Glacian Swords and uh, Tyrion Spears. Them ones getting some great kills there. So Thank you very much for the game, boys. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the battle. And I'll bring you another game soon.